I'm pretty excited about the theme of this entire conference. I love the idea of looking at ideas that exist and then reimagining them and rethinking them. So the idea I would like you to rethink today, tonight, is this idea of student-led education and inquiry-based education. It's a concept that we've all heard a lot about, but I want you to think about it uh, in the reality of the schools where you work. So in order to do that, I would like to build a relatively simple metaphor, and in order to do that, I would like to start with a story. This story starts in Squamish, in a lake like this. That little girl on that kayak is my six-year-old daughter, Skylar. And this summer, I had the pleasure of spending a week at this wonderful place. And as soon as we got there, there was this one-person kayak that she immediately gravitated towards. And she said, Daddy, can I go out on the lake? And so we put a life jacket on her and said, sure, why don't you tool around the pier for a little bit and see how it goes. Before we knew it, she was on her own across the lake to that little island, back and forth, and she loved it. And as she was doing this, doing this, I started to think about the connection between her experience on this lake and the idea of student-driven education. And her experience on the lake made it feel like she had so much freedom and personal choice, and ideally, this is what we want for our students. A couple of days later, she gravitated to the canoe and took a friend along, and I got to sit in the back. And as she experienced this, more ideas of giving students the freedom to choose uh, what they want to do came about. And I started to realize that she was also learning to collaborate um, and connect. And we had to communicate as I started screaming at her, turn, turn, we're about to hit the shore. Um, and as we're going through this, I started to think about all the various boating experiences I've had in summers past as well. Uh, and so this metaphor of the vessel came to mind. I see some of you grinning at the pontoon boat. <laughs> Uh, it was a great day captaining that ship. Um, so these various vessels uh, also bring about ideas and words that connect to student-driven. We want teamwork. We want it to be fun. We want it to be social. And so these are the ways that we have all probably thought about student-driven education. This is what we want. However, the reality is that we work in larger schools. And sometimes it's not easy to have these vessels at our command, whether it's the kayak or the canoe or the pontoon boat. And the reality is when we want to move across a large chunk of space or a bigger ocean, sometimes those aren't the best vessels to use. So, for example, taking a one-man kayak across the ocean can be very daunting. And we have destinations and places of things that don't really work out. You can't take a canoe. We have these realities of what needs to happen. And whether we want to admit it or not, international schools have set the paths of where we want to go. Ultimately, I think we've all faced the reality of we're trying to get our students from one destination to the other. So the metaphor, the vessel that seemed to make most sense to me of the reality of what we face is the idea of the cruise ship, right? And some people smile, some people groan. But the reality of the cruise ship is it's captained by a larger team. And sometimes when we bang our head against the wall trying to change the shape or the course of the cruise ship, we can get frustrated. But we have to all admit that this cruise ship is pretty effective at navigating these various things. What I want you to rethink tonight is that, yes, we're on the cruise ship. And it might not be the experience that we're all super thrilled or excited about. However, we have lots of opportunities to let students occasionally get off the cruise ship and explore, uh, I don't know the technical term, but going land, land side, right? So this idea that as this cruise ship is moving, why don't we take the ideas that we had from earlier and the vessels that we feel comfortable with and let them explore? Also, the cruise ship is pretty big. There's a lot of room on the ship itself to do things as you're moving from place to place to place. And so you can have things like a lit magazine or a cooking class or think about the way you approach service in your school or start a robotics club. These are the places where you have the choice to rethink and allow change to happen on the cruise ship itself. One quick example I'd like to share with you is a literary magazine. Last year, my colleague Paolo and I decided that we loved actually where our cruise ship was going. We're lucky to work at a school where the ship is heading in the right places, but we felt like we weren't in charge of the experience our students were having. So we started a literary magazine, and the tips I have for knowing what to create on your cruise ship is find something that you love. And we love writing and creating and sharing that kind of expression. Second step is find students who are also passionate about that thing that you love. 
and then create an environment and let go and let them do it. Go back to the ideas of fun, social, collaboration, all those tiny vessels that we talked about a little bit earlier. And that's the key to success. So you could sit on the cruise ship in your room and complain and whine and, you know, oh, I don't like where this ship is going and do nothing on the boat as it makes its way across the ocean towards wherever your director or principal has decided that it's going to go. Or you can get out and start shaping and redirecting the way your students experience their journey. Because at the end of the day, it's not about the content you have to get through or that final destination or the journey. It's making sure that when you do that land stop, when you allow your students to have that freedom, that they're understanding the magic and the wonder of the water, right? And so really our ships are moving to that direction. So as you spend the next two days here in Vietnam at Learning 2, I would love for you to think about where are the places that you can leverage your cruise ship and where it's going, and where are the places that you can give control to your students as often as possible. Thank you very much.